Well, hello, friends, and welcome to another video. Don't be alarmed by the chaos that you are seeing. What we are doing today is revamping some of our miniverse bits. These are all the extra parts that I have laying around that won't be used specifically as a display. So I have saved the most perfect of all of the bags um, to use in what will be a garden store. This is just regular white glue of any kind. This is the stuff it comes with that is not permanent and is just squishy, which is insane to me. All right, so we're going to mix that up and permanentify them. But I wanted to, uh, one, this will be going in the Calico Critter display. I don't know that this rabbit will be the purveyor of said plants. However, she is going to be our stand-in participant as ever for the size. Okay, definitely going to need some more uh, based on how much glue I put in, and that is fine. We have plenty of dirt, as it were. Um, and then the extras of dirt you can use as display items. I already set mine aside because she will have to obviously have for sale all the different kinds of dirt that you might need for your plants. Now, whomever the plant purveyor will be in the uh, un uh, as yet unbuilt universe, um, whomever that person will be will also have all of the other miniverse plants that we have so far assembled, specifically in the succulent department. Uh, the house plants can be mixed up throughout with all of the calico people uh, in their homes. Um, but anyway, if these are going to be mostly for sale plants, she already has whomever it is, not this rabbit, but whomever the purveyor is. They already have a, uh, I think they called them an orangery in old, old Britain, but it would be like a solarium or greenhouse now. Um, I bought the vintage one, <laughs> like 1998, and it cost me well over a hundred dollars. It's, it's fine. No one needs to know. Well, now they do, but no one needs to worry about my, um, spending habits. It had to be the right scale. Uh, anyway, so the fancy pot ones are all going to be going into that display, so we need sale pots. Now, once you have white glue smushed all your dirts, you can see I did a trial run back here. Um, I just thought it would be fun. You have like, you know, you got all these bowls left over from the food ones that I just stole the ingredients out of to make, well, jello molds if you've been following along. Uh, this whole set was like 70 cents on AliExpress. I probably won't use any of them as it turns out, uh, but they were only 70 cents and you could definitely use them. Oop, see, I'm a little stuck in there. And then um, we have leftover boxes from uh, the other ones, bowls. Uh, I reused this uh, cereal bowl because I thought it would make a really good orchid bowl for a spare orchid. That one came out nice. And then these ones, I think, are going to be little sale-sized pots. So I have a couple of those. I saved some cactuses because I want to make those into, like, a tiny, uh, like, diorama display. Because I got this micro tortoise, and I think it'd be hilarious to make them a little display to walk through. Why? I don't know. I wish I could tell you what motivates me. I'm not even sure. But we are going to stuff these nice and full. I'm going to try to not use any of these big pots as I feel like that's like it's like a tree for her. She can't possibly be toting that around. Also, if you buy things that are already terracotta, you don't have to paint them to look like terracotta because they are. So uh, no need to repaint those. Anyway, um, I'm going to probably speed through and just show you how everything looks at the end. So I will check back in a few minutes.
holding those come out super cute. Love it. All right, so she has, not that she's the salesperson. I don't want you guys to get attached to the idea as though anyone's following this. I don't want you to detach the idea that she is going to be the succulent monger. Anyway, she's not. But there is going to be a booth with all of the plant care items. So we, I found this weird little pot in my Briar Horse collection. And so now it is holding in a euphorbia. Looking good. All right. And then we also have all of our for sale echeverias and for sale aloes. And then we have done these that will be hanging in her uh, solarium greenhouse, call it what you will. We're going to have to put windows in it. I can't let it go with just open. It doesn't look right. And then this little one we've put into a dessert cup. I think it's kind of cute. Just sitting in there as a little dessert cup. And uh, don't be afraid to use tweezers to get rocks where you need them. <laughs> and then this one, I think, was in a cereal bowl. I think I showed you that one already. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that there's a lot of fun ways to reuse your uh, miniverse goodies. And make them into other stuff that you might... Oh, sorry. Listing to, listing to starboard there, um, into other little things that might look cute in whatever kind of displays that you like to make. I hope this inspired you. If it did, throw down a like or a comment below, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!